Hi there, I'm Danny, and boy, do I have a great episode of Gear Up With Greg's for you today. We are going to be demonstrating the Easy Red product line of testers. We will be using one of our many Greg distributors delivery trucks to demonstrate just how easy it is to get fast and accurate readings with the line of Easy Red testers. Here at Greg's, we carry three types of Easy Red testers an antifreeze washer fluid tester, a battery hydrometer, and a combination tester with all three tests, as seen here. These are handy, cost effective tools that take the guesswork out of vehicle maintenance and leave you and your car very happy. The first one we will be demonstrating is the antifreeze tester. Now, before we test the antifreeze, Let's talk about what antifreeze is, why it's important, and what you're testing it for. As the name suggests, coolant or antifreeze is designed to protect your vehicle engine in both extreme heat and cold. If you live in a cold climate where the temperatures regularly drop below freezing, then the accepted ratio of coolant or antifreeze to water is 50-50. Just for some comparison, with just water instead of antifreeze or coolant, the ice crystals will form at zero degrees Celsius. This is also interesting to note that pure antifreeze alone will not perform the task of protecting your vehicle's cooling system much better than water would by itself. In fact, pure antifreeze will freeze at a temperature not much below where water does. No matter which type or color your antifreeze is, it will transfer heat away most efficiently when blended with the proper amount of water. If your vehicle's cooling system were to freeze in the winter, not only would it make it impossible to drive, the fluid would expand and it would crack your engine block and potentially damage the radiator. So how do you ensure the antifreeze or coolant is mixed properly? And will it last through the harshest conditions? Well, with Easy Red Testers, of course. The Easy Red Tester is a small, portable device that aids in the checking of antifreeze or coolant. In winter months, it may warn a motorist of an impending freeze. This tool is ideal for individuals who work in automotive shops and do-it-yourself automotive enthusiasts. You simply reach for this relatively inexpensive device and quickly test your radiator fluid. Now, let's head over to one of our Greg's trucks and test it out. You want to make sure that your vehicle system is cooled down or heated up to room temperature. You need to do this because if the antifreeze is too hot, you may burn yourself. And if it's too cold, you'll not get an accurate reading. You then open the radiator cap and draw a little liquid out of the system and into the tester by depressing the bulb and slowly releasing the pressure until the fluid reaches the marked line. A float in the tester then tells you the temperature your coolant mixture is rated to. See, the floats contain small weights, which measure the density of the mixture. The resulting measure is then able to tell you the temperature rating of your mixture. If the temperature reading is not your desired result, you can then change the mixture of coolant to water till you're satisfied. In some cases, in order to achieve a very negative temperature rating, you might have to change the coolant entirely. See here, the reading says that our coolant mixture is rated at a temperature which is safe for our cold winters. Now, with this test, we have peace of mind knowing that no damage will occur. Now that we've tested our antifreeze, let's talk about what this other section of the device is used for. The Easy Red Antifreeze Tester also includes a spot for testing the temperature rating of windshield washer fluid. This is especially handy for our Canadian winters as we don't want to be caught with fluid that may freeze up our lines or frost up our windshields while driving. The process of testing windshield washer fluid is the same as antifreeze. Once you cleaned all the antifreeze out of the tester, you simply fill it up to the indicated line 
and the arrow will show you the freezing point of your fluid. See, our reading here indicates our washer fluid is rated for very low temperatures, which is perfect for our winters. Excellent! Now we don't have to worry about our windshield washer fluid freezing through any cold snaps. As I said previously, this is a great tool for anyone who is preparing the car or fleet for changing weather. As both your cooling system and windshield washer fluid are used every day, they should not be something that you take for granted. That is why an inexpensive tester like the Easy Red Tester should be in the toolbox of every mechanic and do it yourself or alike. The last tester I'm going to demonstrate today is the Easy Red Battery Hydrometer. This tester is used for checking the charge of conventional lead acid batteries. You can find these batteries in your cars, RVs, lawnmowers, and other battery operated equipment around your house. I know I've been stuck wondering why my car wouldn't start on a few occasions, and it would have been beneficial to have had a small cost-effective device to see if my battery was causing the problem. How does it work? The battery hydrometer measures the density of the fluid, which in turn measures the concentration of the electrolytes in the water. The density of the extracted fluid will determine where the weight will float in the tester and thus tell us the concentration of sulfuric acid in the water. The higher the density, the higher the sulfuric acid content, and the higher the charge will be. On the device, this density rating is translated into the specific charge the battery is capable of holding. Although it sounds complicated, Using it is just as simple as using the antifreeze tester. Though the specific voltage is great to know, the Easy Red Tester makes it even simpler by separating them into good, fair, and low categories so that you don't have to memorize what specific charge a good battery should hold. In front of me, I have a battery that we're going to test the Easy Red hydrometer on. Our first step is putting on the proper personal protective equipment, as battery acid is something you don't want to get on your skin or in your eyes. In our battery testing scenario, we are assuming that your car won't start. Make sure to disconnect the battery from the circuit before you test it. Something to note, if your battery is just disconnected or you're bringing your battery inside from the cold to test, you'd want to wait for your battery to get up to room temperature to get an accurate reading. We then open up the plugs so that we can get into the battery cells. Now, we place our tester into the hole so it hits the bottom and then back it off slightly. Squeeze the bulb and absorb the liquid then push it out a couple of times so that the meter can match the temperature of the fluid. Make sure you don't splash acid on you or your workspace though. Then you want to take a pull of the fluid until it reaches the fill line. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now we have to read this thing. First off, you should note the color of the liquid. The liquid in this hydrometer is clear, and so that is good. But if it is brown or gray, then that could indicate a problem with the battery acid and that it is nearing the end of its life. Now, judging by our reading, we can see that the battery is currently at 1275, which is good on the side of the measuring device. To do an accurate test, you would want to measure all the cells. If you get good ratings on all of them, it means that your battery is all good to go and at least you know your battery isn't to blame for why your vehicle won't start. If your measure shows fair or low, you know the capacity for your charge in the battery is low, but now the troubleshooting begins. In an accurate test, you would take samples from multiple cells in your battery to make sure you didn't test the one bad cell by chance. Also, just because your battery isn't charged right now doesn't mean that it can't hold a charge, but that would explain why your car doesn't start up right now. So a boost is your best course of action in this case but then the test should be repeated. If you find your battery still doesn't hold a charge after it's boosted, 
then it's time to remove and replace your battery. Please note that if you have a freshly watered battery, you need to wait one full recharge and discharge cycle of the battery to test it, as the water needs proper time to mix with the electrolytes. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Gear Up With Greg's. If you have any questions, feel free to stop in and ask one of our friendly counter staff for help. Have a great day, and I hope that these tips leave you and your vehicle with snow problems when preparing for this year's cold Canadian winter.